In H-Town Hot Spots, we like to find unique spots just for you. Here we are at Andy's Cafe South American Kitchen in Edo neighborhood of Houston, where they're serving up brunch from seven different South American countries here with co-owner and executive chef David. So David, tell us about all the fabulous dishes in front of us. Awesome. Thank you for coming in. Uh, yes, we have uh, brunch items uh, from South America. So we have a couple different countries that we recreate food, very authentic. And everything is home made from the scratch. So the first item we hear, it comes from Peru, it's called tamalitos verde. So the same co a yellow corn tamales, everything grinded. We put a little bit of spinach and some queso fresco inside. We top it up with some salsa criolla, and the sauce that is accompanied is come with a rocoto, which is a heat pepper from Peru. The other dish we come inside is a little more healthy version. It's, it's baked uh, eggs. Uh, it's a Chilean version. It's called uh, tomates, uh, well con tomates from Chile. It comes with a little bit of uh, garlic, roasted garlic, tomato con casein, extra virgin olive oil, a little sea salt. We have some French baguette. And our second dish is actually this one comes from my country. It's called Bolón de Verde. It's a green plantain dumplings stuffed with uh, pork belly and a little bit of uh, uh, mozzarella cheese. It comes with sunny Sara bags as well. So this specific sauce is made out of the fruit from Ecuador and Colombia. It's called tree tomato, and we turn it into ají. So it has a little spices, uh, balanced with some vinegar and some uh, sweetness from the, the, the fruit. In this area, we can see a dish from Argentina. It's a very version from a skirt, outside skirt steak, cooked at perfect temperature. It comes with some homemade french fries, a little bit of homemade salad, spring mix salad, you know, some radishes, onions, a little bit of pumpkin seeds and some chimichurri. And then from Bolivia, we have this uh, delicious dish. It comes this, you can find the small plates. So it's a pile of French fries, homemade. It has a little bit of beef tenderloin, pork belly, homemade sausage, and top it up with salsa criolla, which is uh, red onions, a little uh, ají peppers from Peru. And when it makes pique macho, it means pique means picante. So it's very spicy. And it comes with some hard boiled eggs, so it's traditional. In this other area right here, you can find from Colombia, calentados con carne y huevos. So basically it's the leftovers, very traditional South American. So you have leftovers of rice, um, and any type of beans or any type of protein. In this case you find a sausage and we have pork belly as well. You have some rice and some uh, black beans. So everything we mix together, put in there, and we top it up with sunny sarap egg on, on top of it. And it comes with a little corn party, it's called arepa. Um, it's like a little corn mix with flour. Well, from Venezuela, what I have in front of me is a corn pancake. It's called cachapa, and you can stuff it with anything you want. So in this restaurant, queso, which is queso de mano, is homemade cheese, and they have uh, shredded beef. It's called carne mechada. It comes with a side of nata. It's like a sour cream. Okay, and what we have our number one seller in, in the Andes Cafe, the very unique dish, we have ceviche mixto. It's very popular on Saturdays and Sundays. So it's a mix of black clams. You will find some shrimp pieces in there. And we have some Corvina, it's a South American sea bass family, okay? So it's very delicious. So what we do is just put a little lamb juice. We have the, the seafood, a little garlic, ginger. So we also give them some onions, ají peppers, sweet potatoes, and of course we have some uh, lettuce as well. Now besides that, the food, we also recreate some very authentic drinks, homemade. We have chicha uh, morada from Peru. So basically it's a purple corn drink made out of pineapple skin, purple uh, corn cobs. We have some sour anise, lime juice, a little bit of brown sugar. We have a little pineapple on the bottom. This drink right here is called Agua Panela from Colombia. Panela is a refined can of sugar. Boil water, and we let it sit for 24 hours, and we just add some lime juice, fresh lime juice. That's the key. Besides the drinks, we can find smoothies on the juice bar. One of my favorites that I always recommend to people, lucuma. Lucuma is a subtropi subtropical fruit from Peru. So we have some little bit pop of lucuma, a little milk, and some sugar. Very delicious. This one, one, two of my favorites, it's called Los Andes. A little milk, honey, Andinian blackberry, and some sour soap. The other one right here is called Machu Picchu. So it's either soy milk or milk, a little bit honey, sour soap, and passion fruit. We also create some South American drinks. We have mimosas, it has a little flavor like blackberry, mango, sour soap, passion fruit. We also have from Peru some uh, pisco sour and passion fruit pisco sour. In the right hand side, you will find like a twist of um, Colombian drinks called Refajo, basically the South American beer. It's a Colombian drink, a little bit of squeezed lime juice. And the last one is called Equer. 
terremoto. So what it is is a pineapple ice cream and a little bit of Riesling wine. And now we're going to enjoy this brunch from seven South American countries. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. <laughs>